as well as being two of the most successful actors in the world. Dwayne Johnson and Vin Diesel are two powerful men who have made a lot of money throughout their careers. But have you ever stopped to wonder which of the two lives a more luxurious life? In this video, you'll see a close battle between Dwayne Johnson versus Vin Diesel. But before we get started, I challenge you to click on subscribe and turn on the post notification on with less than five seconds. Okay, let's get started. Both Hollywood stars own lavish real estates, but which one has the most expensive properties? Vin Diesel, for example, has his multi-million mansions. It's unknown when Diesel purchased his Beverly Hills home. However, we do know the Fast and Furious star currently resides in the 5. 521 square foot property with his wife Paloma Jimenez along with their three children. The home includes five bedrooms and six bathrooms. The home features a spacious living room with a fireplace, a billiards pool table, and many others. Furthermore, Diesel should have no problem maintaining his physical shape, which is essential for an action star like him. As a result, there are plenty of sports facilities in his backyard. Outside of the 5,521 square foot home, the property's backyard features a swimming pool, a tennis court, a hot tub, and huge workout gym with all equipments. The mansion is valued around $5 million. Dwayne Johnson, on the other hand, has properties all over the globe and more than 10 estates in Florida itself. He has a lavish mansion in Beverly Hills, the house is built in a Mediterranean style, with a detached sports compound along with a 2,500 square feet guest house in a sprawling 18,000 square feet living area. The property spreads across 3.6 acres and the palatial estates always bring in inbuilt wow-worthy amenities. For instance, the property has indoor and outdoor swimming pools, a baseball diamond, a tennis court, an elevator, a music studio, as well as a movie theater. He reportedly purchased the mansion for approximately $27.8 million. He also has a Cape Cod-style El Chino house, which he gifted to his mom. This big mansion has six bedrooms, five bathrooms, spa, backyard and everything that makes her extremely happy and proud of her son. Dwayne has brought back the smile on his mother's face that he missed bringing in his childhood for a hefty sum of $3.48 million. Dwayne owns a 46-acre provincial-style mansion in Powder Springs, which is approximately 20 miles from downtown Atlanta. The property was once a horse farm and it is spread over 46 acres. That beholds several stunning structures. The whole Johnson family gets a lot of space to enjoy as it has five plus bedrooms with an elegant living room that has exotic features. It's valued around $7 million. And because Dwayne Johnson has the most expensive real estate, he wins this round. Both movie stars own beautiful cars, but who has the most expensive garage? Dwayne Johnson, for example, can afford to drop a bit of cash on his wheels. He has a Ford Hennessy Velociraptor valued around $150,000. A Lamborghini Huracan valued around $260,000. A Cadillac Escalade valued around $80,000. A Rolls-Royce Wraith valued around $300,000. A McLaren 650S valued around $310,000. A Rolls-Royce Cullinan valued around $330,000. A 2017 Ford GT valued around $1 million. A McLaren P1 valued around $1,100,000. A Ferrari LaFerrari valued valued around $1,100,000, and a Pagani Huayra valued around $2.5 million. Vin Diesel, on the other hand, is an avid automotive collector, and some of the rare collectibles in his garage are worth millions. Besides driving hyper-beast vehicles on screen, he is particularly interested in collecting American muscle cars and hyper-cars in real life. He bought himself the hyper-beast 
1963 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Grand Sport valued around $100,000. He also owns one of the best muscle cars of the 70s. A 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle valued around $70,000. A 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona valued around $90,000. A 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle valued around $140,000. A 1990 for Toyota Supra Turbo valued around $180,000. A 1970 Dodge Charger Tantrum valued around $700,000. And the most expensive in his collection is a 2014 Lycan Hypersport. According to W Motors, the luxury sports car was featured on Fast and Furious 7. The 2014 Lycan Hypersport comes with a 3.7-liter twin-turbo flat six-cylinder engine that can attain a speed of 245 mph with 780 horsepower. It also features the world's first holographic mid-air display with interactive motion control. Only seven units were ever made and all have their owners. It's valued around $3,400,000. And because Dwayne Johnson has the most expensive garage, he wins this round. Both celebrities have made a lot of money throughout their careers, but who has the biggest net worth and stands out the most in business? Vin Diesel, for example, has established himself as a prominent figure in Hollywood, solidifying his position as one of the most globally recognized, highest paid film stars in the United States and wealthiest actors in the world. He founded the production company One Race Films, where he has also served as a producer or executive producer for his star vehicles. Diesel also founded the record label Racetrack Records and video game developer Tiggins Studios, providing his voice and motion capture for all of releases. Under the banner of Tiggins Studios, several video games have been developed, drawing inspiration from Vin Diesel's iconic film franchises, including Chronicles of Riddick and Fast and Furious. Additionally, the studio introduced a thrilling racing game titled Wheelman. Some of the movies he has produced are Blood Short, Riddick, XXX Return of Xander, Fast and Furious 6, Fast 7, Fast 9, Fast 10, and many more. In a breakdown for his salary in his films, he earned $2 million from The Fast and the Furious, $15 million from Fast and Furious 5, $20 million from The Fate of the Furious, $20 million from Fast and Furious 9, $20 million from Fast and Furious 10, and the highest one being from Fast and Furious 7 for $47 million. Vin Diesel has an estimated net worth of over $225 million. Dwayne Johnson, on the other hand, one of the highest paid entertainers on the planet. In a typical year, he earns at least $100 million from his various film and endorsement endeavors. In 2012, he and his now ex-wife Dani Garcia launched a company called Seven Bucks Productions. Seven Bucks earned a production credit for his movies Baywatch, Rampage, Skyscraper, Hobbs and Shaw, and Jumanji. In 2020, The Rock and a group of partners launched Terramana Tequila, with Mass Jiggermeister providing distribution. In its first 12 months of operations, the brand sold 300,000 cases. In film salaries, for example, he earned $20 million on Skyscraper, $20 million for his role in the 2019 film, Fast and Furious Hobbs and Shaw. In 2019, he also earned $23 million twice. First for Jumanji, the next level, and then for Red Notice, he also earned $22 million on Black Adam. The Rock was paid a flat $50 million salary for 2023's Red One. That is the largest upfront salary ever paid to an actor for a single role. Dwayne Johnson has an estimated net worth of over $800 million. And because we don't know the turnover of all the businesses, and Dwayne Johnson has the biggest personal net worth, he wins this round with two points. And Vin Diesel takes one point. At the end of this video, we have one point for Vin Diesel and four points for Dwayne Johnson, making him the winner of this battle.
Hey, you like the video? So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to East Africa Celeb Life.